In this video, we are given information to easily write down the bearing of B from A, but what we actually need to find is the bearing of A from B. Let's look at the first one. If you've seen the previous videos, you should be comfortable with the idea that the bearing of B from A is 0, 06, 4 degrees. But as I've said, that's not what this question is asking for. We need to find the bearing of A from B. That means we need to imagine starting at B. So let's imagine we're at B and facing north. Now, what clockwise angle do we need to turn so we end up facing A? Well, that is this angle here. How can we work out the size of this angle? Well, we can use our knowledge of alternate angles on parallel lines. If I extend this line towards the south, you'll see we have a pair of alternate angles on parallel lines here and here. So they must be equal. Therefore, this angle is 64 degrees, which means the angle we are looking for is 180 degrees plus the 64 degrees which gives us a bearing of 244 degrees. In the next example, we can do the same kind of thing. We are looking for the bearing of A from B. So we need a north line at B, like this. Turning clockwise until we face A, this is the angle we're looking for. And like in the first example, I can split this angle up by extending this north line towards the south like this. We have a pair of alternate angles again, which means this one is 151 degrees. And that means the angle we are looking for is 180 plus 151. And that gives us a bearing of 331 degrees. Moving on to the last one, this is the angle we are looking for. To help me find the size of this angle, I'm going to extend this north line to the south, just like in the previous questions. Notice that I have a pair of alternate angles on parallel lines here and here. Now, I can work out the size of this angle because I know that I've got 360 degrees in a full turn, and if this bit here is 320 degrees, then this bit must be 360 minus 320, which is 40 degrees. And because these are alternate angles on a parallel line, then this one is also 40 degrees, which now makes it easy for me to work out this angle, the one we're looking for. I've got a straight line here, which means these two must add up to 180 degrees. So this one here is 180 minus 40, which is 140 degrees. So that gives us the bearing we are looking for, 140 degrees. So here we have the answers we were looking for. It's worth noticing something here. We've just written the bearing of A from B in each case, and if you compare those to the bearings of B from A, you will notice that the difference between the bearings is 180 degrees, and this will always be the case. So it's something you can use as a quick check when you do questions like this.